Hello, my dear friends. I just discovered that I made a major, major mistake. Then I have to correct ASAP. So, um, if you remember, I made a video. Serious undervaluation is here. When the market corrected um, to um, um, minus 50%, I was right here. Um, uh, and the market cap was then around 110 billion. Um, Bitcoin was around 3,500 US dollars and Bitcoin Cash was around 110 US dollars. And um, <clears throat> or 100 US dollars BCH. Uh, and um, the, I recommended to go to a big but minority exposure. Huh? Uh, I said that I don't recommend to go to a majority exposure yet, yet because um, because uh, I thought the bottom was not in, but that was wrong um, because you don't want to go to a majority exposure only when the, you think the bottom is in. That's not um, that's not uh, safe. Uh, the same that you don't want to go to a minority exposure uh, when you think the top is in. That's way too late. Huh? Um, uh, you want to do that way before the top is in. Uh, build down your exposure dramatically because you never know for sure when the top is in and you probably will be guessing it wrong. So you use some kind of metrics uh, and you build in a margin of safety. Uh, and so I did it uh, here on the troll chart. So when should you go? Like if, if you're in a bubble, when should you go to a minority exposure? Eh? The, the art of investing is to stay invested on the way up. But there comes a point where <clears throat> you really have to sell and sell strong. And so you hold as long as possible fully without selling anything. But there is a point where you really need to sell very strong and that needs to be close to the top. But you don't know where the top will be so what you do is you use past performance to, to estimate where the top will be but then you don't try to sell there of course you, you build in a margin of safety so a margin of safety i think is good that you do minus 50 percent of the previous top huh? so for example there was a bubble in 2011 here thousand percent overvaluation compared to the trend line huh? here in 2011 thousand percent uh overvaluation compared to the trend line uh, and then a, a, a correction uh, and you go to minus uh, 54 percent uh, so let's this let's say you start investing here and this is the only history you have what are you gonna do in the next bubble well you build in a margin of safety so you do for example minus 50 percent compared to last bubble so you you you, you estimate like okay well Maybe it's going to go to the same kind of overvaluation. It will also be 1,000%, but we don't know that for sure. When are we going to build, uh, start selling strong? Let's build in a margin of safety of minus 50%. So we will st start to go to a minority exposure at 530%. Half of the overvaluation that it reached at the peak, we will go to a minority share. But that means that, let's say you're invested like, I don't know, uh, 80%. Um, you go down to my a minority exposure means less than 50. So for example, you go to 40% exposure here. Eh? Uh, and, and, and then you try to sell more and more as it goes higher. But you always reduce, you go to 40% and then you go to 30% to 20%. Eh? Uh, that's how you do it. Eh? But the top will be somewhere there and probably sooner than you expect. Um, and, and, and so you will be left with some crypto, but that's okay. Um, but so if you apply the same uh, for the bear market, uh, what are you, when are you going to start buying strong again? You don't want to buy anything on the way down, but there is a point when you're in undervaluation where you're going to start buying strong and go again to a majority exposure. But where? Huh? Well, you look at the previous bear market and you build in a margin of safety. So previous bear market, undervaluation went to minus 54 percent let's take half of that because you don't know how deep it will go this time maybe it's going to do the same but maybe less or maybe more who knows 
uh, there is not even a pattern here. Eh? So you just take half and say, okay, I'm going to buy strong as if, if it's half this undervaluation. Because eh? you are in undervaluation, it is a good buy, but you don't know how deep it will go. So you just take a margin of safety, you take half. So half of 54% is 27%. And so at minus 27%, you buy. Eh? Uh, what would have been these prices for Bitcoin, for example? Eh? I would have to track that down. Eh? Uh, but we can do it by estimate, but let's say here in 2011, uh, sorry, uh, 2014, that's uh, 2013, that's the last bubble here. What's important here is that you will not be selling, because 2013 was tricky, it was two bubbles. It went from basically $3 Bitcoin to 255, but it went from 3 first to 10, and then from 10 in, in, in a couple of months to 255, uh, and then it corrected to 55, and then it was at 100, and suddenly there's another bubble after that, eh? uh, and it goes from 100 to 1,000. Uh, but, but, but if you follow this kind of uh, chart, you would not be selling at this peak here at 255 because overvaluation is only 200%. That's not enough. Your margin is, of safety is 500%, so you would stay invested. You wouldn't have sold anything, and so you would be feeling bad here because you didn't sell anything, and it looks like the bear market is going to start, and that's a pity. But actually, it was not the case. The bear market never started. It stayed in overvaluation, though it went to fair valuation pretty close here. Eh? Uh, it touched it. Eh? But fair valuation is not a moment to start buying, so you wouldn't have been buying anything. But you stay invested, and up six months later, another bubble, a couple months, actually, it went straight up from this point. Eh? Uh, so, 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 but you do end up selling here at 530%. And how high is it? Well, it went from 100 to 1,000. 500% is uh, somewhere around, um, I would estimate probably around 600 or 700 US dollars. So that, 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 that you, you have to go to a minority exposure. Huh? And so you do that. And if you follow the Kelly criterion, you continue to sell uh, more and more down as it goes up more and more to thousand dollars but this all happens in such a fast time eh? from 700 to thousand was probably only a couple of weeks or so but anyway um so 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 you end up selling around 600 700 a big position and and, and some more on the way up and then it's done eh? uh, and 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 the same on the way down here at minus 27 percent what was the price here well uh that was the last drop actually because it was at fair valuation still here uh but um but then it went uh, the last drop was from at thousand dollars it's corrected all the way down to 155 us dollars but you didn't buy here you did the last drop when it went from 300 dollars to 155 when it was somewhere around 300 dollars and then it went to like uh, around 200 or 250 dollars you will hit that minus 27 percent and so at let's say 250 dollars here you buy strong again to a majority position and you do see it collapse more but then you uh from 250 to 150 but okay that's fine uh you make some extra losses but you have your majority position uh, taken eh? and from there it actually goes sideways and then back up uh, but if you follow the Kelly criterion as it continues to go down from 250 to 150 uh, you continue to raise your exposure let's say you decide majority position means i'm going for, to a 60 percent exposure okay but then as it goes down more and more and you get instead of minus 30 percent you get minus 40 percent under valuation you go not to 60 but to 70 percent or 80 percent and so you continue to scale up as it goes down uh, and then basically you stop buying because the price will never go so low anymore and so you you end up your last buy was around 70 percent exposure and then it goes sideways and after that up so you are remaining with about 30 percent fiat that that you never end up investing which is okay huh? mm. uh, the thing is that uh, you would have bought at, at at really great prices if you follow these uh these uh these criteria huh? um so the same applied, of course, in the previous bubble. Huh? Where do you... I made that mistake at the top and at the bottom here. Huh? Uh, that um, I didn't use the margin of safety. Huh? And I tried to sell at the top, which I missed. And ended up selling a lot of my coins not. 
because I thought it would go higher. And I'm not going to make similar mistakes here. Huh? Uh, so um, at the top of uh, 2017, what should you have done? If you use this strategy, well, you could see, okay, in previous two bubbles was 1,000%, 900% overvaluation. But actually, you know, these numbers always change based on the trend line that always changes as new data comes in. Eh? So actually, I do remember that this number was actually 1,300%, and this number was 1,100% eh? with uh, previous data. Uh, but anyway, you cut it in half, and you're good. Eh? Uh, now it's 900%, but it used to be 1,100% this number. You cut it in half, well, uh, that would have been like 550%. Eh? Uh, 550% overvaluation with the current numbers, that would be 470. So that means your line comes here, and in during the bubble, you would have sold never, and that's the good thing about following this, eh? um, you would have never sold here, for example, which I ended up selling before I started using this Trollolo chart. Uh, it went basically from uh, Bitcoin went from two hundred dollars here. Huh? The bubble went from thousand to basically two hundred dollars, two hundred sideways. Then it went up from two hundred to three uh, to 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 two hundred to about thousand here uh, in 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 fifteen sixteen uh, fifteen sixteen from two hundred to thousand. But then in seventeen uh, it went from thousand in seventeen the first half year. To 3000 and then it corrected strong huh? and i thought that the bull market was over here that was before i used this chart but then i started using the chart and said oh my god overvaluation is only 100 percent here and i was here overvaluation was only 100 percent and so uh this is if you look at previous overvaluations nothing and it will likely go a lot higher you can find all those videos back there on my youtube i don't delete videos huh? so um you have to be invested again here and i went to majority exposure again eh? but then i made the mistake that i remained invested and 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 and, and i thought that well the bubble will be around 900 percent peaking out but it never did it peaked out at 700 percent and so if i would have used the margin of safety i would ha have sold down to a minority exposure uh at what price well um uh, 470 let's say 500 percent overvaluation how high was that uh well that was somewhere over here and that was somewhere at a because at that time it was around 80 billion it was around 500 billion eh? um uh total market cap for bitcoin bitcoin was around maybe like i don't know thirteen thousand, something like that eh? uh, or twelve thousand, and, and around that price i would have gone to minority exposure uh, of 40 percent and then as it goes up more and more uh creeping up uh, to 20,000 i would have continued to sell more and more so so that would, would have been the right strategy hmm? so today where is the margin of safety you look at the previous bear market it went down to minus 70 percent uh, in the previous bear market a lot more huh? but you cut that in half and you're at minus 35 percent and and, and 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 i made the mistake like i think it's good to use the total undervaluation eh? like what was the deepest point you you want to try to buy there i also make the mistake have been making the mistake of trying to buy the fiat bottom but trying but the problem with that is that actually if you follow the kelly criterion it's not that's not important the fiat bottom what's important is the risk reward ratio and you want to buy at the most optimal risk reward ratio and when is that is that at the fiat bottom which has been here for example in this previous bear market and the fiat bottom was here at minus uh, at 155 dollars is that is the, is is that the, the best risk reward ratio no it's not eh? because undervaluation continues to go down even though fiat prices go up undervaluation goes to minus 70 percent right here so all, about one year later as as prices go sideways the trend line continues to go up and the, uh, the undervaluation goes up to minus 70 percent here this is the point of maximum um opportunity and so actually prices went to 155 and then went up 300 dollars was around 200 uh, $50, $220, $230, uh, 
uh, back up to three hundred dollars, down again, but um, to again two hundred thirty dollars or so. Huh? But actually, even though like yes, the bottom was one hundred fifty five dollars. Here it's already two hundred thirty dollars, is twenty percent higher. But actually, this is a much better point to buy from a risk reward perspective because. It's not only that it compared to the trend line, it's undervalued. It's also that you have so many, much more information here. Um, well, Bitcoin didn't die again. Eh? Uh, the, 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 the infrastructure and economy around Bitcoin continued to expand or all, all cryptocurrencies. Eh? Uh, this is what you know after the sideways movement, you have also a much better view of on which coins are actually doing well. Um, uh, for example, Ethereum didn't exist here, but it did exist here. Huh? Uh, um, IOTA did not exist here, but it did exist here. Huh? So many opportunities actually came up that were not valued yet. Huh? And so if you continue to study the market, you will, um, uh, 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 and you can see that it just, uh, 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 and prices go sideways, yeah, risk reward becomes better and better and better because undervaluation goes up, but also because you get much more fundamental information about the market, you can make much better decisions. So we want to look at this number, not not the fiat bottom, but we want to look at the uh, uh, risk reward ratio. And that's what we're going to use. And I should also use for the future to, to calculate where do you want to buy you you don't want to buy the fiat bottom what you want to buy is the best risk reward ratio and that's going to be probably higher than a fiat bottom but not per se huh? because in the past that was higher but it could be in the future actually the best risk reward ratio will be actually also a lower fiat bottom and that can be because you see a trend here that actually um mm, 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 as I mentioned in the previous video, you have a fiat bottom and then it goes straight up even during undervaluation, goes straight up. But here you have a fiat bottom and it goes sideways. Could well be that when we get uh, that, um, that we get now um, even lower fiat prices right here, for example, if the bear market continues, and then we will have a combination of a lower fiat bottom and the highest point of undervaluation that certainly is possible but anyway um if you look at the margin of safety uh you want to buy here during this bear market as minus 35 percent and have we hit that yes we hit that we had that right on the point where i called the bottom incorrectly but where i also went to a, a, a majority exposure of 75 percent in bitcoin cash if you remember uh minus 35 percent undervaluation was during this collapse here the last collapse we went from fair valuation straight to minus 50 percent undervaluation so minus 35 percent was somewhere before that bottom was reached and that was around four thousand us dollars for bitcoin for bitcoin cash it was around 200 250 us dollars so that's the point where you should go to a majority exposure of crypto and should you ever sell these coins no never so I made that mistake of selling those coins recently because I thought that I shouldn't be a majority exposed yet, but that's not correct. Huh? So, so from this point, you should be exposed to majority exposure. And if it continues to go down more, 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 you buy, you just buy more and more and more. And where do you set? the point where you want to be fully invested whatever that is for you that could be like 10 percent only of your total capital that could be uh, 60 percent that could be 90 percent that could be 100 percent but at what point do you want to be fully invested or try to be fully invested well that's an undervaluation that's higher than minus 70 percent because the trend is up huh? here the trend is down huh? so i would say you said that about minus 85 percent maybe and that's where you want to be fully invested. Huh? So you just make ladders, huh? like you go to your, whatever you want to invest, the majority should be invested today already. Um, and, and, and then the rest, you invest as it goes down to minus 85% in ladders. Huh? That will be my plan. Uh, if that ever happens, we don't know that. Huh? 
uh, that's why you have the margin of safety um it, it could be that uh, indeed the, the 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 bear market is over and the bull market has started but if you follow this then you will already be invested the majority into crypto of whatever you plan to invest and 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 so you're good you're ready for the bull market but if the bear market continues that's fine too because you still have 40 percent or so of your stash or maybe 30 percent of your stash that you still want to invest so that's the mistake i made huh? and so that's a mistake i need to correct also as soon as possible uh, the market has just gone up here huh? uh, we're still at the same 175 billion this is a month ago uh, made this chart but actually we're still at the same price about huh? so this has gone sideways now uh, and, uh, and 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 so we're still at about minus 30 percent under valuation so if we indeed the bull market has started then it is a, very likely uh, that we do will see a correction again here not hitting the all-time low but halfway somewhere huh? that's very likely so 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 i think that's also the point where i need to correct my mistake and and i would recommend uh, you to do the same uh, and to do uh, to invest the majority of your fiat uh, if we get uh, a correction to about halfway um and that means for Bitcoin, for example, we went to 3,150. We're now at 5,600 or so. Five, no, 5,400. But yesterday it went to 5,700 peaked. Eh? So from bottom to peak, it's like 3,200, 5,700. Uh, so you just uh, cut that in half. Eh? Uh, we went up how much? 5,700 minus 3,150. We went up 2,550. You cut that by two is, and that's what you want to add to the bottom. And that's where you buy plus 3,150. And so 4,400. Huh? This is the point where you go to a majority exposure, like why uh, the odds are high actually it goes lower but a mistake was made that needs to be corrected huh? so it, if we're in a bull market even then the odds are high that we go lower than this during um the testing of of support huh? or, or the testing of the bottom huh? probably the bottom was 3050 so we might even see the three again uh, maybe it goes to 3800 or something huh? But we can't be risked, be, uh, be left behind. Huh? So it's very, very important to take those coins uh, and to have a majority exposure, huh? just in case. Um, that's very important. Uh, so, 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 so for Bitcoin Cash, for example, it went from a bottom of hundred seventy-five dollars, a peak of uh, um, a peak of uh, three hundred. Uh, Forty dollars was a big, or let's say three hundred thirty. Huh? So how much did it go up? Minus three hundred thirty. It went up two hundred fifty-five. You cut that in half. So this likely will be the correction. Yeah? So three hundred thirty minus hundred thirty. Huh? So indeed two hundred US dollars, and that's that's likely gonna hit when the the the, the support is tested um and and so if you still need to load up uh that's a price i recommend to buy your position um and and, and for it you can do it for any coin eh? what was the bottom what was the top you 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 cut out half of that and that's it's probably a good price to uh correct your mistake and and go for to a majority exposure crypto eh? uh, so so i still think it's very likely uh that the bear market is not over uh, and that we will see lower lows. Um, watch my previous videos, why? Um, but that doesn't mean uh, uh, we don't have to correct our mistakes. It's the same story here. Like, um, yes, 
everybody thinks the market will go up more huh? but that doesn't mean if you suddenly realize that actually i should have gone to a minority exposure because i'm already in high risk territory that you shouldn't correct that even if you think the market will go higher you should correct that mistake but when the moment it it it, it had suddenly uh, gone down no correcting mistakes you do when you get the opportunity and so when the market turns to your favor huh? especially today it's very rare on the bottom uh, to see such strong rebound huh? um I mean, we've seen it here in 2011, but this was a very different market. Eh? You can't compare that. Eh? Just in general, markets that are 100 billion big eh? um, uh, and they had a serious big correction, well, uh, usually uh, they're going to test some support. It's not going to go up in a straight line. There will be corrections, and we did have uh, a move up of about three, four months. There are many indicators that show that we are overbought uh, and, uh, and and it's likely to get a correction so it's good to, to to wait for that but then also to correct the mistake hope you guys enjoyed the video i wish you all good luck bye